Pay docu on for in more enter canvas body the stag beetle by Mark Lopez prologue one day there lived a stag beetle named Marvin after six years of being a larva he is finally ready to see the big world all right thought Marvin now that it is night time I am going to find myself a female but first I have to get myself a territory and with that Marvin flew off to find territory chapter one the find after flying for about one mile he found a lamppost as territory. Marvin lives in Mexico but since Marvin is a stag beetle he does not know which part. Okay Marvin thought. Now I just wait for the females to come to me. One hour later. I am getting bored Marvin said out loud. Then suddenly a big five-inched Hercules beetle landed next to Marvin. Who are you Marvin said. I am Dorius I am looking for a mate. Me too. Said Marvin. I know females are very hard to find. Said Darius. Well I am leaving said Darius. I do not want to be collected by a human. And without saying anything else he flew off. I wonder. What is a human? Marvin thought. Oh well. They probably do not do anything. That Hercules beetle was just exaggerating. But you know what? Marvin thought. I am going to find a new territory. Because this territory clearly is not a place for females. And with that Marvin flew off. After flying for another mile, he found a nice grassy area. And what he saw in front of him surprised him to the core. Right in front of him, he saw two stag beetles reproducing. Marvin just stood there, completely surprised and completely shocked. And they did not know he was here. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe what I am seeing, Marvin thought. I wish that was me. I am definitely out of here. Marvin thought. And with that, he flew off. Marvin could already see the sun poking from the sky. After a long time of flying and walking he never found a good territory. So finally he landed next to a rock. And then he went under it. Wait a minute, Marvin thought. This could be my territory. I did it. I have found a territory. Hear that females. I have found my territory. Marvin shouted and he finally went to sleep. Chapter 2 The Human It is now the next night, and Marvin is ready to come out and find a mate. Let's go, and with that Marvin opened his wings and took off. Oh yeah, I am flying through the wind, Marvin began to sing. Here I go, to find a mate, and hopefully tonight, is when I find my first mate. While Marvin was distracted singing he did not know that he was following the wrong light. He was following a light directly to a house. Hey Sophia catch the ball. Shouted Jesus. I got it I got it Sophia shouted. It turns out. Marvin is flying to a human house. And they appear to be playing ball. Suddenly Marvin felt himself crash somewhere. Where am I going? Marvin thought as he plummeted to the ground. And finally. He fell to the floor. Oh man Marvin thought. That was pretty intense. Sophia. Shouted Jesus. Call Mark, and tell him that another beetle has fallen for his light trap. Okay Sophia said. And with that she ran off to go tell him. Oh man Marvin thought. I need to get out of here those must be the humans that Hercules beetle was talking about. But suddenly Jesus trapped Marvin with a cloth. You're not going anywhere little bug. Jesus said. Marvin is a beautiful stag beetle. He is about two inches long. And he is black and brown. And he has huge jaws. Finally Mark came out of the house. Let's see. Mark said. Where is the bug? And what does it look like? Because you know I cannot see. Mark. Jesus said I know you cannot see stop reminding me. Anyway. The bug kind of looks like a flat beetle but it has huge jaws at the front. Wow. That is a rare stag beetle. Explained Mark does it bite? Jesus asked. Yes. Mark explained. They can bite but only if you try to kill them. You trapped it right? Mark asked. Yes. Jesus said. Okay good. I want to examine it. Now I will never find a mate. Marvin said. Now I'm going to be collected by the humans. Just like the Hercules beetle was telling me about. Suddenly the cloth was lifted from his body and a hand was coming towards him. It's okay if he tries to kill me I will give them a good bite. Suddenly the hand was right in front of him not grabbing him but in front of him. Maybe I should climb onto it. And with that, Marvin climbed onto the hand. 
Then suddenly another hand was coming towards his body. This is kind of weird Marvin thought. Suddenly the hand began to touch him. Marvin was a bit frightened. Well Marvin thought. If he dares put more pressure. Text field. Body. On my body I will have to give them a nice bite. Wow. This stag beetle is so friendly Mark told Jesus. Well what do you think of it? She's a start? It's a pretty good specimen. And also it is not a girl. The girl stag beetles have tiny jaws this one has huge jaws. So actually. Mark said he is a start. It turns out. That Mark is an entomologist. And he is trying to hunt down a Hercules beetle in Mexico. And Jesus and Sophia decided to join him. Suddenly Darius began to follow the same light. Remember him? He was that 5-inch Hercules beetle. Oh my goodness. Shouted Sophia. That is a big beetle. Look at it fly. Jesus said. Hopefully it crashes into the light. That is the biggest beetle I've ever seen in my life. Suddenly Darius crashed into the light and fell to the ground. And without even one second to spare, she has trapped Darius with a big jar. Sophia you got the beetle, Jesus said. I am proud of you. That is your first bug you have ever trapped. And you trapped a big one too. What does it look like said Mark. Well it is a really big fat beetle. And it has three humongous horns on it. I think that is a Hercules beetle. Oh my goodness and with that Mark simply threw Marvin, and went to go see the Hercules beetle. And while Marvin was in the air, Marvin opened his wings and flew. Chapter 3 The Realization Thank me later, Marvin heard Darius shout. I sacrificed myself to save you because I sensed something in you I have never sensed in a bug. So please do not get caught by anyone else. And go live out your life. I know I never found a mate and I never experienced having kids but I believe in you go complete your dreams. So enjoy your life Marvin, Darius shouted. And with that, Darius the Hercules beetle was collected by humans. All to save the little stag beetle Marvin. And with that Mark, Sophia, and Jesus, went to go back home to show their parents the Hercules beetle that they have found. Suddenly Marvin began to cry. No one has ever done that for me no one has ever loved me like that. No one has sacrificed their life for me. Marvin cried. Even as a larva, I never had parents and I had to escape predators. And now here I am a adult beetle ready to find a mate. But yet, I was about to get killed by humans. Or collected. Who knows what. But thanks to that Hercules beetle I have another chance. And with that Marvin flew off. Back to his territory. The next night. All right Marvin thought. Here we go. Today I will finally find a mate. Marvin thought. And with that, he opened his wings and took off again. Okay, Marvin thought. Where do I go? I guess we will just have to see where I land. Suddenly, while Marvin was flying he saw two boy stag beetles fighting for a girl stag beetle. This is my chance. Marvin thought and he landed on a branch. Okay, I am going to watch the fight from here. Marvin thought. Hey other male stag beetle, you better back off. This is my female. You know what let's continue this battle and we will see who wins. With that the two fighting stag beetles began to go into combat. As for Marvin. He is just watching all of this. One of the male stag beetles bit the other male stag beetle on one of its jaws. Ouch it exclaimed. That doesn't mean I'll back out. And they continued fighting. We will see about that. Shouted the other stag beetle. What is even your name imposter? My name is Don. And yours? My name is Gabriel. And with that. Don and Gabriel began to fight for their lives. In the fight Gabriel managed to bite Don on his head. And also, Gabriel got a good nip on Don on one of his wings. Ouch. Don exclaimed. Are you going to back out now? Gabriel said. I will never back out on my life. Don shouted. And they continued to fight. For about 30 minutes. Finally with one good bite to the neck. Gabriel killed Don. I win. I win. Gabriel began to celebrate. It is now my time to shine Marvin thought to himself. And with that he flew from the branch and landed right next to Gabriel. Who is on another tree branch. And the female is watching from another tree branch. I want to fight you. Shouted Marvin. Oh it's on. Gabriel shouted back. Gabriel is three inches long. While Marvin is two inches long. But Marvin had an advantage. 
While they were fighting Marvin jumped to the left and grabbed Gabriel by his neck. Now, Marvin began to say. Who is going to be the one that dies now? Please do not kill me, exclaimed Gabriel. Please, I am begging you. Fine, Marvin said. I will not kill you but I will knock you off the tree branch. And with that, Marvin threw Gabriel off of the tree branch and he went falling to the ground. And finally, Marvin flew over to the female. Hey beautiful lady, Marvin began to say. I won the battle. Well, the female said. I do not like you. You are too small I actually love Gabriel. And with that, the female flew off the tree branch and left Marvin alone. Then Marvin realized. I have no friends. I am all alone in this forest the only friend I ever had was the Hercules beetle. But he. Text field. Body. Sacrificed his life for me. What am I supposed to do now? Marvin thought. This night was clearly a failure. And with that. He flew off back to his territory for the night. Chapter 4. Marvin makes a new friend. The next night. Okay. Marvin thought. I guess I will just take off for the night. And once again. He opened his wings and took off. After a while of flying. He landed on the ground. On the simple concrete ground. I feel so exhausted. Marvin said. Wait a minute. Then Marvin realized. I have not eaten anything. I am going to die here. I simply do not have the strength to continue flying. And with that body. Stag beetles bit the other male stag beetle on one of its jaws. Ouch it exclaimed. That doesn't. Body. Sacrificed his life for me. What am I supposed to do now? Marvin thought. This night was clearly a failure. And with that. He flew off back to his territory for the night. Chapter 4. Marvin makes a new friend. The next night. Okay. Marvin thought. I guess I will just take off for the night. And once again. He opened his wings and took off. After a while of flying. He landed on the ground. On the simple concrete ground. I feel so exhausted. Marvin said. Wait a minute. Then Marvin realized. I have not eaten anything. I am going to die here. I simply do not have the strength to continue flying. And with that. Marvin lay on the ground and thought about how much more there could have been to his life. This is finally the end Marvin thought. After all of the bugs that have died I am finally next. And I failed my Hercules beetle friend. Marvin thought. But suddenly a female stag beetle landed next to him. Hey are you okay? She asked. No. Marvin began to say. I am starving and I need food. Do you need food? The female stag beetle said. Then I will give you food. After all every bug counts. She said. And with that. She flew off. But Marvin was already closing his eyes. He ate nothing for three days. He was already dying. And it was too late. Suddenly Marvin could barely hear the sound of wings flapping towards him. What is that Marvin thought as he began to slowly fade away. I think that's me flying to heaven. Suddenly as he was about to fade away. He heard a sweet urgent voice calling for him to wake up. And that is when he felt a feeling. A feeling of pure joy and a pure determination. And with all his powers he tried to wake up. But to no avail. I should have just had some food. Marvin thought. And with that. He slipped into darkness. Come on male stag beetle. Wake up. The female stag beetle said. The female stag beetle's name is Patricia. Patricia began to examine Marvin. Poor bug. Patricia thought. It looked like he has been through a lot. Then suddenly, Patricia felt the same feeling that Marvin felt. The feeling of pure joy. And determination. No, he cannot be dead. And with that, Patricia forced some food into his mouth. Suddenly, his mouth began to chew the food. And he swallowed the food. Suddenly Marvin felt himself coming back. And with all his remaining strength, he tried again to wake himself up. And this time, he managed to wake up. And with his last energy. He began to speak. Who are you? I am Patricia. Patricia said. You know. You are very handsome. Patricia told Marvin. If you manage to recover I will allow you to mate with me. Marvin tried. And boy did he try to recover. But he simply couldn't he should have eaten food when he first hatched. But he was too excited to find a mate that he forgot. And just as he found a mate. He is going to die. 
and he did not even get to reproduce with his mate. Which pretty much defeats the point of even finding one. Why did it have to be me? Marvin thought. But suddenly Darius the Hercules beetle began to fly towards Marvin. Marvin, do not die on me said Darius. Try to live come on, you can do this. And both Patricia and Darius began to see Marvin die. And you might be wondering, how did Darius escape the humans? Well, after Mark examined him, Mark simply let him go. And finally, Marvin took his last breaths. And he finally faded away into darkness. But at least Marvin did not die alone. At least he had his friends watching him. And they will always remember Marvin. They will always remember Marvin, the beautiful stag beetle. The end. But you know what the sad thing is? After being a larva for six years, he did not live that long. Sadly, he had a very short life. But not all bugs get happy endings. But if Marvin just remembered to eat food, he would have probably still been alive today. Because stag beetles live for six years. And if you're wondering what a larva is, a larva is pretty much a beetle caterpillar. Not a butterfly or moth caterpillar. But larva are also known as grubs. Text feed control center. Air selected.